Hi everyone, it's Miss Brenner. I'm here to talk about our rubric for online 2020 science fiction literary analysis project. So this is how if you chose to do the literary analysis option where you're going to analyze two different short stories, this is how your grade will be broken down. So our first three categories are split with 14 points as the highest maximum each being that you follow the project directions as the first category, that it goes over and above all required elements and that are stated in the directions and instructions. So between this video and the past video for the instructions, your project goes above and beyond, would get 14 points. Um, for eight points, it includes all of the required elements as stated in the directions, um, but just barely. Five points for attempts to include all the required elements as stated in the directions, uh, but is it falls short due to uh, misuse of literary elements. Three points missing one or more of the required elements as stated in the directions, and zero points because several uh, required elements are missing from the project. Our next category is understanding of content, so specifically literary lenses. This is also a 14 point category, 14 points for the highest uh, being that the essay is able to engage the reader by using literary lenses with skill and purpose. The essay fully uh, deconstructs the short stories to better understand the underlying meaning and author's purpose. Eight points is the next uh, step down that the essay attempts uh, to engage through literary lens analysis uh, while looking at the author's deeper meaning, but doesn't quite make the 14 point category. Five points, the essay has moments that appear to be inspired by literary lenses, but are clearly interjected uh, because the writer forced these points in after writing the essay and does not elaborate on them. The essay lacks detail from the story and in turn causes confusion is three points and then zero points. The essay does not even uh, use methods to provide detail to the reader and therefore leaves the reader lost as to how the story is being analyzed. All right, 14 point category for understanding content as far as foreshadowing and monster types. So all of the uh, short stories recommended are in the horror category. So you would need to know the monster types and foreshadowing. For the highest amount of points, uh, you show that you understand foreshadowing with skill and purpose and that you can identify the monster types while showing the author's underlying purpose. Uh, eight points shows that you attempted to do this, uh, but just falls slightly short. Uh, five points is that the essay has moments where it appears that you try to analyze the story through foreshadowing, author's tone, and monster type, uh, but that these were really just interjected afterwards because it was an afterthought, and you've never gone into elaboration on those points. Three points, the essay lacks detail about the story, and in turn causes confusion. Zero points, the essay does not even attempt to use any methods to provide detail to the reader, and therefore the reader is lost as to how the story is being analyzed. Alrighty, and then we have two nine-point categories uh, for grammar, mechanics, and MLA heading, which you can look at my example then that I'm going to have a video on. Uh, errors are rare or absent, get you a full nine points. Seven points, errors are occasional, but not overbearing. Five points, errors are frequent. Three points, errors exist in almost every sentence and may interfere with meaning. And zero points, errors are all over the place and therefore the essay can't really be judged. All right, organization and style. It is a pleasure to read. Graceful, uncluttered, rich, and vivid get you a full nine points. Seven points, it's clear. It shows sentence variety and uses interesting and precise vocabulary. Five points, it functions, but sentence variety and vocabulary are limited. And three points has major flaws, so it's simplistic and kind of wordy, but often unclear. And zero points has such severe flaws that it's hard to really judge the essay. Alrighty, and that is our rubric for the literary analysis choice for the project. It is worth 60 points, and its due date is December 7th. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy, and I will talk to you later. Bye.